Atlas's lab. Specialized Atlas's lab. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Erasmus Special Brewing today. A brawl is Surrey Brewing. It's no Imy Zap, but fact is, you can still cause lots of problems by hooking people into the core. Now, if there is a Now or an Atlas themselves, that kind of blows a good amount of my own tension out of the water. But I still have a pretty solid plan, and it's not like you have the lifelink or a uh, lifeline or celestial intervention at all times. That's 45 seconds and 55 it's seconds if I recall correctly. So you just gotta play with that. Now I always do give up uh, possible pressure to uh, with slick kits or siphoning for vicious because I always love detonating the middle, and that could bite me considering I see a fini on the enemy team for dead eye. But we'll s oh, what the heck is this roster? I, uh, okay, gotta be careful. Vicious Vambrace without a doubt. If my Imy doesn't take it. Thank you, thank you. Good, 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 good. That is just wind conditioning right there. Yep, M Momentum Boots Fini. We got two specialized siphoning. So it's all about how, if we can weather the storm. Because we have better residual pressure, I feel, with Imy Power Spites, for example. Uh, from uh, Momentum Boots. Uh, not Momentum Boots, Um, from a, uh, from hit. Gosh darn it. I thought I'd hit Rasmus right there. It's okay though. Just stay in the middle. Let my stature naturally come back and good jutes. Like we'll, we'll have a firewall sentry for what is going to be our win conditions. I just straight up died there because of level two. It's okay though. It's early game. I didn't. Ha I don't have my own pull yet, and that is their own cold core detonate. So if it just detonates on anybody, I can really just rush in and kill potentially here. I was hoping that I'd get enough. I, I, I'm hoping I get enough uh, for my level 2 right there. Dude, I have not gotten anything. I am not getting to play the game. <laughs> I'm still level 1! I need to get level 2 for my own special eyes, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, Kai's under pressure. Had the burst for that. He's gotta move it up. I mean, this is all up to you. Nice try. Just eat the play right there? Tried covering diagonally. This is bad. Trying to drag it down to Imy potentially, but the fact is the play never came to be. I have died, what, two, three times in that opening round, and I'm still level one? If I can get mine, then we can really flip this on the head. If I can get my, uh, it's his face. I level two. That hurts. All right. I was about to say, just dodge such as on, and I did dodge such as on. Now I'm drowning to every single other bit of pressure. Proper trap, yep. Well, I did my level two while I'm dead now. It just kind of sucks that, you know. I am dead. Could have evaded it, but I didn't expect them to pop retract. I mean, well, you're supposed to evade the Chazan. That's really the one thing you're supposed to do, Cruzy. But you get what I mean. All right. Tried looking for a potential play. Just gotta feed around here. Nice! Uh, course right Thief and Erasmus' treasure idea. Great win from me. Oh, no, no, no! He can't get it! He can't get it! He has burst! He has burst! He has burst! Zahn didn't want to use burst there, is the biggest question marks. I lost my war. Alright, get, get the orb. Get the orb, open the lane. Cause when he's out of position! Nice stretch shot. I had to get a blast just to see if the owners would come to you, and yeah, you're just kind of being dragged out of the goal, because we're all dead. You have to answer, and that is great goaltending, Kai. It just sucks that Imy wasn't able to cover you once she came back, because you literally kitchen sink them with moving up right there. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's just like Kai is just a little bit more passive with strike shot and like he's going to control the midfield but we don't have as much offensive pressure when it comes to because you know Finney is the Artori, uh, Artori cannon beyond all belief. So I'm just gonna get this orb real quick. Yeah, ni nice stuff, nice stuff. Y'all are looking at me. Great stuff ladies and gentlemen. But I got my goal. I'm making it up. I may be dying, but I got my goal in. Zan's walking towards the center, so I'm just gonna punish him straight up. He's trying to kill our. He's trying to kill our Imy. That is really good burst damage from them. I will admit, but we still did get. We still did eight. Uh, did get a goal barrier and quite frankly, Imy's still alive, which is the bigger thing. She's getting some onus in, and we still got it too! We still got the barrier! So, 
your offensive game plan is starting to fall apart slightly. Uh, 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 very, very slightly here. I can't believe Kai didn't uh, didn't think about bursting earlier. That is Man of Steel vibes, or uh, the Nerves of Steel vibes, but quite frankly, uh, I couldn't convert. The fact that I missed my death touch on Chazan to hook him there and potentially kill him kind of blew it out of the water. Okay, though. Survival traits. Anything at all. Three sparts. It is a sport of resilience, but if that just gets taken away, that sucks. You know, more than anything. And quite frankly, I could just easily be denied that. I still do think it has to be the uh, like the most important thing to grab, though. Because if a Chazan gets it, then this starts blowing everywhere else. Kai could potentially get Digiblast killed with heavy impact. So it comes down to what Aimee wants. She's going agility. I probably would have taken CDR in my case, but like, look, we got a pretty bad draft. Three Sparts showing up, so it's only power and um, uh, leader left. You know, that just sets in general. Trying to put some pressure on Kazan. Because if I can maybe get him in potential kill range, we could get something going. Oh, if I if I have Pummers, that could be way better. The fact is, like, I need to get something going. And if it if it takes blowing up the core to try to get a prot going, that's that's what it is. The fact is, they are so aggro on these corners that they are losing these gold barriers residually. And we might get open goal situations like these. I suppose I should take you more seriously. Nice! Yeah, they can get all the kills that they want. But the fact is, they are, like, they are so heavy on that. That they're not just controlling it. And Finny Doi, even with momentum boots, she I know what if she uses her triple take early to just like to help lay on that supplemental pressure, that is suffering for her. That is straight suffering when it comes to actually uh being a doi herself. Sutz. Need this orb. Good hit. Control. Nice, 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 nice. Controlled it away for what I could. I mean, is being forced out. If I could hit Chazan in any retrospect here, it would be the greatest thing ever. Pull him into the center. Didn't get what I wanted. I'm just gonna die. <laughs> uh, this is just suffocating, dude. It's so suffocating. You really wish we'd said better awakenings too, but can't say too much more about this. Gotta, just gotta keep trying this. If they keep it towards the corner, though, I'm going to keep looking for a potential corner kill. Bad, but I'm mean, getting pressure. Detonate this. Stun Finny. Yeah, I'm mean, staggered out. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? You can't. If you don't invert that kill, we're still doing fine enough. <sighs> What a suffocating game, dude. What a suffocating game. Alright, core's back. That hit nobody. Besides me. I was about to say, I'm- I'd say, uh, uh, Finny is really standing way too close to the corner. So it's just free. It is actually just free wind conditioning. Send it in. Great stuff. Cause yeah, they, like that's the thing I'm really trying to catch them on. If I get a little bit of an impact potentially or so, Pendulum Swing could kill them if they trend a little too close. Aimee saw that. She capitalized. This is a huge potential turn. That is spark of leadership, which could really help us out. She's going to take it. She has this part. That's great. I'm probably just going to get unstoppable in that case. It's either that or fight or flight if it gets denied from me. And we'll just see how it goes. But Aimee can scale that. She gets a spark for a little bit more survivability. I have a survival trait, which is totally fine enough. So that's all that matters. So in that case, then, just unstoppable. Unstoppable, unstoppable, unstoppable. Kazan will probably just get demo to really just outsize us. But that could open him up to potential kills if we get lucky enough. Kai does have prime time to get a little bit more supplemental uh, midfolding for us. And the fact that I have uh, unstoppable means I can detonate the core for free if I don't get hit. So kill? That's what I'm looking for. Great survival play from me. I need this orb. I need this orb. I still got staggered out. That's uh, that sucks, that sucks, that sucks. Tried hitting just for uh, the... Uh, just uh, just for any stagger right there. But fact is, uh, I may still did get uh, Rasmus as well, which is huge. You can force a firewall, potentially. 
Okay, well, what? You, you got, you're getting abilities out, which is the biggest thing. Oh, if I pendulum swing the other way. But I mean, can get this. And now just be a body. Just be a body, crazy. Be a body. Good patience. My pendulum swing missed. Never so slightly. Kazan dies. Good. Finally. Oh, I missed that, dude. That sucks. Cause that takes away like a third of our kill pressure. Nice. I mean, got it. Force free. Force free. I want to feed down to her potentially. Ow. Kazan dies. Kazan doesn't die. But Aimee got it! Aimee got it! She didn't even have to use Burst for it! That's huge! That's huge! Just fact is, even if they are doing- uh, Even if they are laying in the offense on us, we have a little bit more stagger thanks to Spark of Leadership helping out. I have more speed so I can move around. And Unstoppable lets me just challenge the middle for free. Challenge the middle for free, put some offensive hurt on Kazan, and look at this. We can control this potentially. I mean, has the burst. Great demon angle! Great demon angle! That's just free! All I had to do is just put some pressure on Kazan. He tried transitioning to Aimee, and she's just doing her role. That's great stuff, girl. Great stuff. Put Rasmus in. Now look at that. He has... Uh, like, he has no stagger just about. I am dying. Good drag. Yep. Oh. Oh, but Rasmus didn't get it either. Huge potential. Killed him. Hit is on too. Just for force the issue on him. Force the issue. Cover to the top. Good burst. Good patience. Great stuff, team. Great stuff. The offensive rusher is starting going back around. We were drowning, and even though the first draft was horrible for us, Two survival traits are huge, huge. I could get recovery drone and then this becomes even better for us. There's no spark here, but I'm getting recovery drone without a doubt. Cause then I can challenge for size and we really just keep it moving. We keep this line moving. Yeah, you can get prize fighter. I'm getting recovery drone. That lets me deny it from Kazan. So he can't get three size traits. It gets me a lot more survivability. I mean, should maybe get extra special or hot shot, whichever she prefers and really just continue drawing this aggro. I uh, really just drawing our core control away. We're guaranteed a spark, uh, we're guaranteed power last set, but since it's power, they will probably want to steal it away from Aimee especially. So we need to close, we need to close things out here and now. So uh, I don't mind giving up a barrier if it means I hit Kazan. Because look at that, he, uh, his, uh, his stagger pressure is out. And once he is out of the play, he has to play so much more passive. He has to play so much more passive, he can't control things like he'd, like he'd want to. And I just start drawing, 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 drawing. Could have maybe uh, death touched myself right there. Good death touch from the enemy, Rasmus. It was a sacrifice I did give. Gave up the bottom barrier to pressure Kazan. But I'm, once again, I'm making plays off of my unstoppable hit. Tried looking for something there. Instead, need to lay this pressure otherwise. Because Aimee is straight suffering. But if I could feed to her potentially, that could have been an angle. We only tried playing between the lines, didn't work out. So instead, feed down straight to her. Get Chazan out of the way. So that clears up Aimee's end. Good barrage. Nice try, nice try. Oh, that was such a good death touch, dude. The extra special was really hurting us. I was just staying in front of him, trying to mark him, but I think because I was just playing more forwards, try to force a 2v1 on Fini, it just opened up his death touch angle. I'll keep hitting you too, Chazan. I don't care. I have my burst. I forced the issue. Simple as that. I just keep him out of the I just keep him out of the game and he can't get anything started. That way Aimee and Kai can just lead with their better uh, with their better ability set against uh, uh, Rasmus by himself and we just keep that going. That is huge. Oh, 
Oh, the fact that we lost our barrier still is so negative gaming. Need to just drag this into the corner still for us. Great, great hold, Imi. Great hold. Oh, okay. Put them away in the dirt. We have stabilized and we can close this out. Dude, Unstoppable is actually doing so much work for me here. It's actually ridiculous. Rasmus trended close enough towards the center right there. So I wanted to force that. I probably should have just gone ahead and death touch. Just make sure that we don't lose the barrier because it is set point. Good win for me though. Win the middle! Whoa! Oh! That is clinical, ladies and gentlemen! Welcome to Challenger! We weathered the storm! First Challenger of Season 2! Oh! I finally made it after so many months! Welcome, Cruzy. You are back to Challenger. All of that wonderful, wonderful weathering. Props go out to, once again, Kai did such a wonderful job in, especially on the times when we were really dying in the first two sets of holding it steady. And the fact that once we stabilized and we were able to go tit for tat with them, with like the kill pressure or just ma making sure that they couldn't lay on as much offensive forces they could Kai was just opened up to just yeah have easy barrages have easy um uh digger blasts to keep it at the midfield line and if because they couldn't convert to Imi as much since she got that little bit more stature thanks to leadership and speed she just got to convert so many easy goals for us wonderful work everybody wonderful work